Yo, what's going on everybody? It's iPod King Carter here, the Superman of YouTube. This video is my thoughts on the new developer insight into my career mode. If you haven't seen a video, the video is after my thoughts. That's why this video is so long. The whole entire insight is seven minutes long, so I'm gonna talk for seven minutes. Now check out this 2K13 home screen. You saw that it was my career and my player. What they were basically talking about was my player is just a customization of your whole entire career mode. Now they're saying that you will basically go into the rookie showcase, play one game, and you will earn total virtual currency and your whole entire draft pick will depict one game. There will not be no draft combine this year, so sorry about that guys. Also, they have new billboards, of course. Um, they totally revamped my career mode. You will see different cuts and billboards and shots in this entire video. But as soon as something pops up on the screen, that's basically what I'm gonna give my thoughts on. Now check out this, this is the black top mode. You can wear what you want. Check out he got on cheetah pants with a kung fu top. Also, your my player talks during the pregame show. You can actually hear your my player say his words now. The actual my player voice is the same from last year, so there was really no change. So I'm sorry if you guys wanted new voices and stuff like that. From but from what I've heard, the my player voice is exactly the same. Also, the interaction with you and your GM, you can answer loyal, arrogant, professional, and all of that stuff, and it will determine what type of relationship you and your GM has. Also, in the press conferences, you know it's already the same thing. Also, did you notice that Adidas sponsorship in the background for the Suns? Do you notice the BBVA sponsorships? You guys got to notice the small details. Also, this clip is from the playoffs because you saw playoffs on the background. Um, also, another thing that they bring to my career mode is the whole entire team chemistry, fan support, and basically tournaments and team events that you can do for your whole entire team, for your team chemistry. Also, the commentators inside the game will now be talking about you and what you have done for your team while you're playing. So it's not like last year where you throw a team event, they don't mention it. Hopefully at halftime, if you're doing the best on your team, hopefully they talk about you as well. Also, in certain endorsements, um, I guess news analysts or reporters and stuff like that actually talk about you and what you've been doing in the NBA. Also, it seems more commercial-like like take the commercials from last year like of course you know the the endorsements um the where amazing happens all of that is now in the game but they're trying to upgrade it you know um they're upgrading look at all these billboards look at that also they said that you can either go with jordan or nike it's not just one endorsement this year and trust me you know i might have to go with nike because i heard that those new replays are sick like stupid but check out all of this game recap you earn virtual currency to buy clothes, buy accessories, buy things to play online with. You can do so much. You can buy signature skills. You can buy attributes. You can buy new animations. Now check out these animations right here. This animation only costs 50. That means that this year it's not going to be so many. How, how should I say? Remember last year when it took a million dollars to buy a certain dunk package or shot or something like that? I'm guessing that these animations and signature skills and stuff will be a whole lot cheaper. You may be able to play like a key game and go get yourself something nice because in a certain screen that they're about to pop up to right about now, it shows certain prices on different skills. Look at this. The cost, it's not going to say it, but one of these costs, check this out, level 1, 500, 350, they, they have some great pricing. It's, it doesn't seem like it costs that much, so I'm hoping when I go in and I get my signature skills, after playing a few games, I can definitely go right into the lab, pick what I need, get what I want, and come out a winner. Also, check out this replay. This is the dunk intensity replay. I'm guessing this is with the new Nike shoes. Check out the crowd intensity. This game is starting to really look like the real NBA. Now, also, they wanted to jump into the social media. If you look at all these players' names, you got celebrities, you got fans, you got legends, you got actual players in the NBA. 
basically this is just like Twitter it's a new social media input now with this you can have Kobe LeBron Wade Wale you can have so many different people he even said Justin Bieber is gonna be hitting you up check out the local fan support it's 81% his team chemistry is 68 so you can see that he must be doing events to actually get his local fan support up but haven't been doing too many events with his team to get his team chemistry up but that's all good from what I'm seeing so far it's looking really really good I'm gonna have a heck of a time with this mode now check this out team chemistry 500 um, virtual uh, coin points or whatever you want to call them virtual currency I'm liking the way they're doing this now it's not looking like it's too much of how many skill points you can get per game but it's looking more like virtual currency is what's gonna run this actual mode and I'm loving it now we all know that the battle for skill points last year with the um the certain abilities was crazy so i haven't really seen too much of that i don't know what abilities you know are gonna cost i don't know if they're in the game they really haven't said anything about it but check out these plays basically showing you guys what's happening if everybody shifts to one side of the defense you can get clear passes check how he got the pass and the player moved out the way telling me you know what i don't want to be in this play this is his iso basically what they're trying to tell you is that the gameplay has been upgraded players don't just stand around anymore they basically get on the move they need to do what they need to do the offensive objectives are a whole lot better now when you're in the game your coach is even telling you what you're doing good what you're doing bad if you're calling for the ball too much if you're too over aggressive if you're not aggressive enough if you have good plays even check out that collision both players fell not just the offensive player the defense and the offensive player fell as well and the coach is telling him good job you're doing well it's looking good this year guys i'm loving this mode i can't wait to get my hands on it and also like he said in the beginning my career mode is the new my player mode all right you guys let's not get it mixed up but this is ikc signing out like i said before the developer insight video into my career mode is coming up next right now so as soon as this clip is over they're going to jump into it and basically get into everything i just talked about thank you guys for sticking with me hit me up on twitter at ipod king carter and i'm signing out y'all peace As noted in the past, is now known as my career in NBA 2K13. Uh, we've done a lot of work in the mode this year. Uh, one of the main focuses was to really you know, enrich the experience across the board, was to really immerse you, you know, not just on the court, but off the court more. So the start of your career is very similar to those who you know, played the mode last year. The first game you play is called the Rookie Showcase, and you're playing with all of the real rookies from the 2012 NBA draft, and this is your chance to play with and against them to kind of show the scouts and GMs where you belong in the draft. Uh, this year you can go number one uh, in the draft for the first time ever, so if you play well enough, that's something that uh, you guys will be able to achieve. Try to blend that line between, you know, what's here and what's here. Uh, I think in the years past with press conferences, we did a good job of trying to get you off the court. Uh, we've done a lot on the court, obviously, with teammate grade to kind of differentiate the mode. Uh, this year we really expanded on everything to really, you know, like I said earlier, blur that line uh, of what your personal life is with your professional life. It's gonna be a great year, starting right now, baby. Right now. One feature we added this year that's really cool is called GM Sit Downs. Uh, this is a feature where at any time during the season you can go in and request a meeting with your team GM. Hey man, I, I've been doing a lot of thinking lately about ways we can make this team stronger. There's different tones you can take to all these conversations that really set, you know, how your GM thinks of you and how obviously how you think of him. Every conversation that you have has a ramification in the mode. So it's really cool that you are determining course of your career more than ever before with this feature. I, I think it's fair to say I was a little nervous, uh, but I felt pretty good out there, you know? The press conference feature that we introduced a couple years ago, obviously it's been very, very successful with the fans. They love it. They've always asked for more. Uh, we have another 100 press conference questions in the mix this year, 600 different topics that can come up, which is pretty expansive. Uh, one thing we really did to blow that out this year is we kind of took that and brought that into the actual gameplay experience. So you're going to hear, you know, Kevin Harlan and Clark Kellogg and Steve Kerr talking about how your life outside of the game extends back on the court. Take a look at Miracle Man. One way to build camaraderie within a team is some healthy competition, Clark, and something near and dear to our heart is he held an NBA 2K13 tournament for a squad. It's really interesting to see how 
how what you do off the court you know, transcends into the game and really changes the way you're perceived by not just the fans, but also even by the commentary team. No better show in town than the Clippers. Come out and join the excitement. Multi-game packages still available to see Miracle Man, one of the best in the league. Endorsements in 2K13, obviously something people are always asking for more of. Uh, last year we introduced the concept of commercials. We had the, the Jordan Shoe commercial. We had Where Amazing Happens. Uh, this year we're back bigger and you know better than ever. We have a ton more endorsements. We have more commercials. And this year you can actually choose which path you want to go on. You're not just going to be a Jordan athlete this year. You can choose to be a Nike path or a Jordan path. And they both lead to separate endorsements. I think people who enjoy the endorsements in the years past will really enjoy what we've done this year with them. Just by playing the game every day, you're going to earn VC. So VC, our, our virtual currency, is getting uh, you know integrated seamlessly into my career mode this year. Uh, when you're when you're playing online, this is the currency that you can use to purchase attributes for your player. Uh, you can purchase signature skills, which I know the gameplay guys have talked about already. Uh, you can purchase animation upgrades. Uh, and one of the new animation upgrades we have this year, really cool, it's called uh, signature pregame rituals. And these are things that you can customize your player with. Whenever you watch an NBA game and you see you know, LeBron do his chalk toss or any signature kind of a thing that a player does, you know, VC on the rim. Uh, this is stuff that you can purchase and assign to your player. And we didn't just limit it to what NBA players currently do. We went out and shot another 50 animations that we thought would be cool that you guys might want to see in your players. Uh, so this is just another, you know, little tidbit where we really give you full customization and give your character a personality and a persona, if you will. Going back to signature skills, uh, that's something that's really new to this mode this year, to the game as a whole. Uh, and it really lets you define your player and identify those like those very specific points where your player sells at. When you purchase these signature skills, they really emphasize your player skills and give you that ability on the court. You can have five equipped at any one given time. They really accentuate your player and really give you a chance to customize yourself beyond what anybody else can do. That was unbelievable. Look at that. How about that? Look at that. So one feature that's uh, new to the mode this year that I'm really, really excited about is our social media feature. Uh, this is a feature where you know you have players and you have legends and you have celebrities and you have fans and they're, they're following your career and just you know constantly sending you messages in our interface. After a game you'll get fans talking about your performance, you'll have media talking about your performance and that even includes some uh, actual NBA writers in real life. So guys like uh, Jay and Donde will be in there, Rick Buber will be in there and they'll be commenting on your gameplay and how you can do it. And you're going to have like Mike Jordan just reaching out to you and, and telling you what's up. And you'll have Holly D. And you're going to have Vinny. You're going to have even Justin Bieber is going to be, you know what, even Ronnie 2K is going to reach out to you guys this year. Give you some shout outs. We've really integrated the buzz values from last year into the menu. So this is a great chance for you to jump in there and see what, you know, your, your local fan support is like, what your teammate chemistry is like, and what your fan count is. Uh, your fan count is something new this year. The amount of fans you have is strictly based on how well you play in the game, the choices you make in your endorsements, and also the choices you make in your career as far as how you behave in the press conferences, how you treat your teammates, just different things you do to kind of enhance your persona. Coming into NBA 2K13, the biggest area of improvement that I felt uh, my career mode needed was on the AI side. I think we've done a really good job of adding complementary features to the game over the past couple of years. Uh, I think the AI has been uh, exceptional in our quick game, but when you start to play a lot, players start to act a little weird. Uh, so this year we spent the entire year uh, kind of giving those guys individual AI routines that basically work around what you're doing. If you go and dribble the ball over next to someone, they'll move away from you and try and get open somewhere else. Whereas last year they would just kind of stand there, put their hands out, be like, hey, pass me the ball. And that's just kind of, you know, it's a little ridiculous to be honest. So getting the gameplay right was, you know, honestly, team-wide was a major focus for us this year. And I think it's the one thing above all that people are going to notice when they play the mode this year is just how much more enjoyable and fulfilling the gameplay part of the mode is. So people who play uh, my career mode in the A2K13, you know, it's not just me sitting here telling you, hey, we have this social media feature, hey, we have this other feature. What you're going to feel when you play this game is that everything is seamlessly integrated into one another. It's not just a feature bolted on here, feature bolted on there. Everything you do is going to affect, you know, these other features. And it's just really seamless in the way the whole mode interacts with each other. It's not just a bunch of independent things that you can go and do that are really cool. Everything has a cause and effect in a mode. And I think that's something I've been working for for a couple of years. But this year, really, you know, we kind of tied the knot with the bow on it and it just really seals the deal on the way a career mode should be made.